what's going on everybody it's me I'm gonna give a quick quote-unquote review of Rago the deep sea monster versus the battleship Yamato also just shortened to Rago it's a uh, 2005 independent tokusatsu film that was made by Shinpei Hayashiya. I hope I didn't pronounce that too bad. That came out, uh, I said it in 2005. Came out in 2005, but finally got an American release this year on Blu ray thanks to SRS Cinema, who, uh, you know, I, I guess they worked out a deal. I don't know what's going on, what happened exactly with that. But it finally got an American release. I went ahead and pre-ordered a copy of Rago and then liked it so much I went and pre-ordered er, a copy of Raiga, the, the I guess sequel? I don't know exactly how it works. So I haven't gotten Raiga yet, but when I do, I'll probably do a review of that one too. But let's start with this one. The uh, general premise is in World War II, it's a story of the real-life Japanese battleship the Yamato being confronted by a giant monster named Rago. There's a whole lot more to that where like the it's oh I don't even know how to really start with this. I will say that it is a very entertaining movie. Like I actually enjoyed it a lot. Despite having quite a few plot problems and story issues, like there were some decisions being made that I just didn't think made sense. And, but I guess it might be a cultural thing, like, you know, because it's Japanese, I might not understand the context of the situations, which is fine. You know, that's how things are. Different countries do things differently. They have different reasons for stuff. Uh, the graphics are very rough. But considering the, uh, how low budget this movie was, let's see if I have a, uh, a budget here. I do not have the budget here, but it's only 81 minutes long. It's not that bad as far as runtime goes. It's very, it's got a, a lot of decent action in it. And, you know, the actors, there's a few familiar faces. If you follow Godzilla and Gamera movies at all, you're going to be like, hey, I know that person. And... All of the actors are definitely, like, as far as I can tell, like, giving 110%. Like, they know exactly what kind of movie they're in, and they are committing 100%. And the, the whole having a kaiju fighting World War II battleship thing is kind of cool, and I've never really seen it done before. Like, the most I've ever seen as far as kaijus in World War II was that brief moment in Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah 91, I want to say, where they go back in time and Godzilla fights the evil Americans and saves the Japanese and whatever. But this, for 25 bucks for a Blu-ray, is definitely, if you are a kaiju enthusiast, you're gonna like this movie. If you're a casual, don't, don't spend the money, don't waste your time, because you're probably not gonna like it. If, you're, if your only favorite Godzilla movies are the current American reboots with, you know, 2014 and King of the Monsters and all that, you're probably not going to like this at all. But if you are in love with the genre and tokusatsu in general, if you love <laughs> Showa Gamera films, you're going to love this because there is a lot of heart, there's a lot of love for the genre in this film. And it definitely comes across. You definitely get the feeling that the people making the movie love the genre and are doing what they can with what they have. You can tell, like, uh, it's this is a love message to the kaiju genre. This is a, hey, I love kaiju movies. I don't have a lot of money, but I want to make a kaiju. I want to make an original kaiju movie and not just do the same things over and over again. And it's great. I like it, and get, uh, the most I can say is just get out there if you if you can watch it. If you can't, 
I saw like on you don't have to buy directly from SRS. Uh, there's like a thirteen dollar DVD floating around Amazon. So look it up, Rigo uh, Deep Sea Monster, or just Rigo R E I G O. You you'll see the name in the dis uh, not description in the title. Just look it up, and it's totally worth your time, especially if you pick up the thirteen dollar one. I bought the Blu-ray for thirty bucks, and I don't regret it a single bit. And I picked up Raiga, and I cannot wait to watch that. So, the monster design, uh, let me, before I go, because I, I was just going to do five minutes, but now I'm going over. The monster design is great. We need more aquatic-based kaiju. Like, I want it, it, I would have loved to have seen, like, I want to see what this guy does with a bigger budget. I want to see Toho give him a call, be like, hey, we love what you did. You we're gonna give you more money, make something for us. It doesn't even have to be Godzilla. I don't want to see what he does with Godzilla. I want to see him do his own original thing with more money. That's it. That would be great. So Shinpei, if you hear this, find someone who's got money and do something for them. <laughs> because your Rigo is a wonderful creature design, and you have a great imagination. And I want to see more from you. So, and I can't wait. Like I said, I can't wait to see Raiga. And tell me in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Did you have you seen it? Are you gonna see it? What did you think of it? Uh, and as always, thanks for listening. Bye bye.